On this 20th anniversary of 9-11, we're looking back at the impact it had on the Mid-State. On that day in 2001, the Hershey community had no idea how close to home this tragedy would actually hit. James Crummel has the story. Michael Horrocks was the star quarterback at Hershey High School back in 1981. I always looked up to him. But he wasn't your typical athlete. I followed him through sports. Randy McKillop was uh, just a freshman. Was, was Mike was a senior. First time I ever met Mike, I was standing next to him and he said, if you just stand right here next to me, they won't pick on you. Doug Jones was a friend of Mike's, and that doesn't surprise him at all. When I think of Michael Horrocks, that's the first thing I think about is just how likable of a guy he was. His nickname was Rocks, and he was hard as a rock, and he was just a great guy. Really, really was uh, specific to being an alumni of Hershey. He was very proud to go to Hershey. Mike went on to play football for Westchester University, then joined the Marines where he learned to fly. As happens with high school friends, you lose touch after school. What an incredible sight you're seeing right now. But the tragic events of September 11th, 2001 would have everyone thinking about Mike once again. I walk in with the normal hello, good morning, get no reply from my mother or father. And I walk in and my father's standing there with his hands over his mouth. My mom's standing there still. And my father just announces to me that a plane has just gone into the Twin Towers. Then a second plane hit. That's the plane that everybody saw live on TV because the first plane had already hit and the cameras were on, on the World Trade Center and everybody saw the second plane hit. And that was Michael's plane. Michael Horrocks was the co-pilot of United Flight 175. It's a day where we lost 2,977 people, and I knew one of those. He wasn't just there as a passenger. It was his job. And I know he fought till the bitter end not to let that plane be taken over. I just know that's the kind of person he was. Randy wanted to do something to honor Mike in his hometown. It's a very somber, surreal moment for me personally. It took some time, but on the 10th anniversary of 9-11, he and several alumni got this memorial placed at Hershey High's football field. I reflect on it quite often, not just every year, but throughout the year. It's kind of tough for me sometimes to look at these photos. Doug also wants to make sure Mike's story is always remembered. One of our own Hershey Trojan students passed away that day. You know, he walked the same hallways as you. He played on the same football field. Every year on 9-11, he comes back to Hershey High to talk with students about Mike and the legacy he left behind. Now 20 years later, none of these students were even born. So it's super important for us to make sure they never forget what happened that day and also to know a little bit about Michael. One of his favorite movies was uh, The Sandlot. This quote inscribed on Rock's memorial sums up the man he still looks up to. Heroes get remembered, but legends never die. Mike is not only a hero, but he's a legend. And we want to make sure that we keep that going. In Hershey, I'm James Crummel for Remembering 9-11.